Mm-hmm. Here at the Sports Surgery Clinic, we want to treat injuries or addressing movement deficiencies. So the idea is using research to identify sources of injury, to then fix the sources and consequently the symptoms. The vision really was to build a center whereby we could be precise, individual and personalized around the movement that we needed to restore. So we would use 3D biomechanics to capture their movement in an injured and then subsequently through rehabilitation, an uninjured state. And so we could start to use that technology to fine tune the rehab process. All the data we collect is to our Vicon system. It means that we can, it's quantifiable, it's repeatable. We've got a setup that means that we can have lots of different people involved in collecting the data and we can still have confidence in the results. The use of Vicon software has been brilliant at trying to objectify that and give some criteria to, to shape that uh, rehabilitation. All of our consultations now occur around a central hub where we have um, three Vicon laboratories, two really based on lower limb change of direction and one based on upper limb assessment. The way we've tried to set up our practice is by using Vicon throughout systematically either at the, at the beginning of rehabilitation or at periodic points throughout rehabilitation. It allows us to generate a report around our staff but also that we can transfer that message to third parties either in clubs or elite team environments so that they can see the measures that we're doing and what we're trying to target during rehabilitation. As soon as the testing has been completed we extract the variables that we're interested in and we've got research projects ongoing because of course the question is what does fully rehabilitated look like? The way a Vicon fits in with our our practice is to really allow us to objectify what we're doing, to give us a basis to see whether our interventions are changing what we think they're changing, but also as a research partner to allow us to begin to ask questions to really improve what we're doing going forward. We've built a database that's allowing us to start answering questions that we haven't been able to answer before. We've got systems in place that means we can design new studies, design new protocols, answer new questions going forward. I think the ultimate goal, at least for me, is that we are able to share the idea how important a movement analysis can be. That not every patient or every human moves the same way, so every human will need a different intervention. Just spread this knowledge across the research community, the sporting community. I think that's the end goal of what we are trying to do.